Hi, my name is Tula Rose and I had my breast implants replaced at the private clinic. I always wanted my boobs done since I was really young. Like when I was a young kid, I used to say, oh, I can't wait till I get my boobs. Like I can't wait till I'm about 12 years old and my boobs grow. I, I literally used to put tissue in my top and then it came to about 12, 13, 14, 15 and basically it just never really happened for me. I mean I had something but I was just like very small chested so pretty much from a really young age I really knew that I wanted to get a breast augmentation. I was actually 22 years old when I did go ahead so you know it wasn't a decision I took lightly I knew that I 100% wanted it done. The one thing that I think Looking back, I wish I'd maybe done just a bit more research on sizing of implants. I was suggested a size, so I had um, 325 cc moderate plus implants, and I kind of just went with it. I went on what my surgeon said, and in the long run, as it turns out, they were just bigger than what I wanted. But I thought, oh, maybe, you know, I'll, I'll leave it a year, I'll see how they settle, how they drop, maybe they'll, you know, go smaller. But pretty much from a year onwards, I knew 100% I wasn't happy with them. And it had always been in my mind to have a, another operation to get them made smaller, have smaller implants put in. So yeah, this is something that I was thinking of for a while. And then finally, I just went ahead with the private clinic. I heard really good things about the private clinic. I did a lot more research this time round. And yeah, I was really happy with the private clinic went with them and yeah had my consultation and told the surgeon what I wanted so I basically I wanted the smallest result that I could get spoke to the surgeon and he basically advised me what implant size I would be able to go down to because it's not as simple when you're downsizing as when you're increasing your size there might be certain limitations to the amount of size that you can decrease and I basically just told him I wanted as natural result as possible because my previous implants because they were a bit too big for my frame they just never really dropped enough so they were still quite high and they just didn't look as natural as what I wanted so yeah I had um, I was advised that I would be able to get either 180 or 210 cc moderate implants so I wanted the flattest implant as well so they just looked super natural and yeah that I ended up with the 210 cc because that was the smallest size that I could get in the moderate implant. I was really excited for the actual day of surgery. I had a bit of a long recovery from my previous op so I was definitely aware that you know the recovery could be quite long but in in all fairness the recovery this time round was actually so much better I the, yeah the surgery went really smoothly I got there around 11 a.m. and within a couple of hours my surgery was um, at 1 p.m. I think and yeah I was I was fine afterwards I was sitting up like I was so much better this time around than when I had my breast augmentation the first time I was eating and I wasn't sick because sometimes the anaesthetic can make you really nauseous but I was fine this time. So yeah then all in all the surgery day was really good and I had, just because I'd not been the best last time, I had um, an overnight stay book so that was really good so I actually stayed overnight and yeah it was it was good. After the surgery obviously I couldn't see them at first because I had the um, post-op bra on but I could straight away see that they were a lot smaller and actually instantly they felt a lot softer as well even when I was just feeling them even straight after the op they were already softer than what my implants had been before so yeah I could instantly see that they were smaller and my recovery was just really really smooth I mean I was I was kind of fine within a couple of weeks and yeah it's, it's been great they've it's been now about two months since my op so I'm basically fully recovered now, like they've dropped and um, yeah, I'm just really happy with them. They definitely look so much more natural and smaller and, and more to what I had wanted. <laughs> so my job actually is being a social media influencer. My Instagram is my main kind of platform. So I thought it would be really good 
to share my story with some of my followers and I have had such a great response since sharing it. I wasn't 100% sure to share it, but I'm glad that I did. I posted a photo and just talked about why I had it done and why I wanted a more natural result. And I've had so many people messaging me as well saying that they are interested in a breast implant reduction in the size as well. So yeah, it's been really good. If someone else is considering getting this procedure as well, I just think make sure you just do as much research as possible and and also have a realistic expectation of what you can achieve from what you already have. As I said before, if you have a really big size, it's not always as easy to go super small, but the surgeon will always have a look and recommend exactly what you can do. But yeah, I just think going in with pictures and knowing what you want to achieve. So beforehand, because I wasn't happy, I was actually conscious of how big I felt that my boobs looked. I never really wore low cut tops or anything. I find myself shopping and looking at that kind of clothes that I didn't before. I, d I definitely feel more comfortable. I don't feel like they're like fake boobs in your face. Like I, I feel a lot more com comfortable to wear lower cut tops and dresses and stuff that I wouldn't have worn before. Yeah, I definitely feel a lot more confident now than beforehand.